there's fashion design is a wonderful thing, but it's very fleeting. Film is really the most permanent thing I think that you can create. You know, you create a world that's sealed forever. Uh, I mean, it's more permanent than you know the pyramids. It's really something that lasts forever. If you're a designer and you're someone who likes to create things, it's the ultimate design project. You create a world, you create people, you create what they say, what they do, uh, how they live, how they die. And as I said, it's really, it's completely permanent. It's also for me, maybe the most personal thing I've ever done. It's a pure expression for me. In that way, the most artistic thing that I've ever done because fashion for me is really a commercial artistic endeavor, but you're creating something that ultimately is to be sold. I found it an extraordinary privilege, actually, to be trusted with something that was so personal to Tom. You know, there are an awful lot of actors would have uh, uh, given anything to play this role. And, and to be, uh, to be, not only to be given a great role, but to be, to be trusted with something that was clearly deeply, deeply personal to Tom. Um, was something that struck me and it became very personal to me because of that. And so in the end, we were sharing this creation of George Faulkner that meant as much to both of us and sort of didn't exist, but also existed profoundly for both of us. And there was a moment when I was feeling sorry for myself because of how late it was and, um, and how many hours had gone by and, you know, I just can't do it anymore. And I, I just, that was when it hit me that it, nobody else was doing this. No one else uh, was being asked to do this. Just me. You know, it was all in my hands, and I, just, I felt extraordinarily fortunate. I mean, as an actor, you're lucky enough to get employed at all, let alone to be given um, a gem like this. <laughs> well, it's difficult to be heterosexual when you have to kiss Julian Moore. Difficult to be homosexual when you have to kiss Julian Moore. Well, that was the great um, challenge si, for me la, la not to kiss del film. Julianne non Moore or stop Julianne kissing Moore. her. <laughs> uh, uh, no, I so learned. I you always learn from the others, um, from other actors, and particularly during shooting. <laughs> Durante il lavoro. I like um, learning from younger actors giovani, because eh? they Quando bring something new to acting. Nuova, non they sono, have not learned non, yet non all our old tricks, uh, uh, trucchi, our uh, way to protect ourselves, protect ourselves. So those bad ha habits uh, we uh, acquire uh, along strada. the way. Um, S quindi, I see something fresh in them. You vedo also in, pure, in, in children, di, di bambini, children actors, when bambini, they are good, they are just bravi, perfect. Sono uh, because uh, what che we do, in fondo, after all, is a game. È, we play è un like gioco, children. Come bambini. I think that's one of the interesting things about period movies, is it gives us some distance. It's, we're able to kind of look back and say, what was happening then? How can we tell this story about that? And, 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 and that this story is in 1962 on one particular day kind of gives it a certain sort of emotional resonance that it, it might not have if we just sort of let it be open-ended, you know, 2009. And I very much, you know, like working in that way.